Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about two things really quickly and then I'm gonna let you guys ask your questions. Okay. So number one, we have a new product coming out tomorrow. It's mixed berry energized, so it's still energized, the pre-workout formula, but it's just a new, new flavor. So okay. um, the flavor is mixed berry, very exciting. People are very excited about it. Um, we currently have fruit punch and lemon. So we're okay. so excited. So that's one thing. The second thing I wanted to talk about is really quickly, just because I touched on it very briefly in our group chat, um, but didn't really expand on it very much. So I thought I would, I would touch on um, the idea of success club. So, right. So we talked, so I sent you guys some, some like random information about success club and didn't really explain it because it's too much to explain, but success club, all success club is, is getting three to five new customers or coaches per month that sign up with either Shakeology. I'm going to meet you guys real quick just for now but then I'll unmute you when we start asking questions. Um, so success, and if you have a question while I'm talking, just put your hand up and I'll unmute you. Um, so success club is getting three to five new customers per month. There's two levels of success club. There's success club five. It used to be called success club five. Now it's kind of called success club six. And then there's 10. You get, here's how you get, success club points. You get two points for everybody that you sign up, either coach or customer, that comes in with a challenge pack or an HD order of either Shakeology, Daily Sunshine, which is the kids version of Shakeology, or the performance stack, which is the recover plus energize. Anybody that comes in on an HD order, that's a, that's a recurring order. You get two points for that across the board all the time. So that's new, you know, new people, but it also can be recurring people. You guys don't have recurring people yet, so we won't talk about that. New people. So that's how you get the points. Three people gets you to Success Club 6, five gets you to Success Club 10. Does that make sense? Thumbs up if you may, that makes sense. Oh, we've got a question. Hold on, I'll meet you. Yes. Yeah, so you said uh, like, Success Club 6, like how do you get Success Club 10? So it's two points for every person yep. that you bring in that has um, an HD order. So Success Club 6 is three people, Success Club 10 is five. And it can be a coach or a customer, it doesn't matter. New person coming in, new, like so, Di, you got two new coaches that came in with challenge packs. So you got four success club points for the month of May. That's another thing. So I'm gonna mute you again. Tell me if you wanna be unmuted. So every time, every month, it starts over again. So when you have, so on May 31st, you'll have however many success club points you have. And then on June 1st, when you look at your office, it'll say zero again, which sometimes like, to people is very intimidating to me it's very exciting i'm like sweet i get to talk to new people and i get to do new things and i get to make new points i've been in success club for 74 months straight i've never missed it i'm what's considered a success club legend which is anybody who's had success club for over two years without missing one month at all ever so i've been i'm a 72 74 month success club legend so that said, it's not that hard to do, <laughs> right? So some people think it's hard to do. I don't know why, I've never understood that. I'm like, it's easy for me to do. So it's just new people, that's it. And it's three a month, that's all you need. So what are the benefits of Success Club? There's a whole bunch of them. So Di, you're already a, um, an Emerald. So when you hit Success Club, you start getting, so next month, not this month, so, so if you hit Success Club in May, then in June, you're going to get, Beachbody is going to start giving you free customers. So you get a certain type of customer, which they haven't bought anything for Success Club 6. For Success Club 10, you'll actually get people who have purchased things. So they'll either, um, 
they'll either have a Beachbody on demand subscription, they will have purchased, hey there, um, they will have purchased a Beachbody on demand subscription, they will have, we're talking about Success Club, um, just so you know, and everybody's muted, and if you have a question, raise your hand. Or they will have gotten um, Shakeology, or maybe a Shakeology sampler, or maybe they bought some loops or something, I mean, they could buy barely anything. And for Success Club 10, you get those customers as well. So Beachbody actually, so when somebody comes in to Beachbody, like just says, I want to do a Beachbody workout, they go beachbody.com, they purchase it. If they don't sign up with a coach, then they are automatically assigned a coach. And the way that they get that's called, it's called um, the lead wheel. And so as your name comes up on the wheel, as people sign up, then you get free customers. So the best type of customers that you get are when you hit Success Club 10. You get people who have purchased something, which means that they're more likely to purchase something again. Um, there's a lot of people who go up there and sign up for a free, um, free Beachbody On Demand 14-day free trial. Then when, they, when their trial comes off of free and they start paying for it, you actually get paid for it. So if somebody comes in and buys a Shakeology, and you have Success Club 10 and you get them as a Shakeology lead, you don't get paid for it that time, but the next time you do. So the next time their stuff ships, you didn't have to do any work except for hit Success Club 10 the month before and you're gonna get paid for it. Free customers from Beachbody, this is a good thing. Yes, sir, hold on, Let me unmute Yeah. Okay. So how long is the Success Club last? Is it just one month or? Okay, got it. It starts over every month. So on the first, so like if you hit Success Club in May, then yeah. you get the benefits from that in June. But you have to oh, hit it in June to keep it for July. Got it. Okay. Okay. So another benefit of that's a huge benefit of success to me is a huge benefit to Success Club. I mean, look what Dai's done. He was a, he was a lead for me, a Success Club lead for me and look what he's already done. So you can have leads that become coaches, become amazing coaches, become nothing sometimes, but become amazing things. Like he was just a customer lead. He signed up, he didn't even, I don't even think he signed up for anything in particular. I think maybe you signed up for a 14 day free trial of Beachbody On Demand. Yeah, and, and got assigned to me. And then like lucky me, I've got this great coach and I've got you guys because of that. So that was, that was a benefit of Success Club 10. Okay. Some other things about Success Club. If you had Success Club in the first three months, the first three months in a row, no, actually now it's the first six months. If you hit three Success Club 10 or Success Club three times in the first six months that you're a coach, you will get a free ticket to next year's coach summit. So you don't have to pay for it. All you have to pay for is your hotel room and get yourself there. I don't know where it is yet. They usually announce it at Summit, but Summit got canceled. But we're having some sort of virtual Summit experience um, during the same days. I'll make sure and tell you all about that when it comes up to it. But you get a free ticket. So it's worth 300 bucks, $295. Um, it's what's called a success starter. And then you'll also get some other stuff too. You get like a, a call with Carl Deichler and some other stuff that you get for being a success starter and recognition and all kinds of good stuff. Um, so that's another benefit. Another benefit of Success Club is the trips. And we have not talked about this yet, but I'm just going to tell you Success Club um, trips every year. There's a Success Club trip every year. This one got canceled this year. Same reason, COVID stuff. It was supposed to be in March and it was right in the middle of all the COVID stuff. It was to Dominican Republic at a Hard Rock Hotel. Um, next year, it's at the Riviera Maya Hard Rock Hotel in Mexico. Um, they'll tell us, when do they usually tell us? So tell us, I can't I feel like it's closer to the end of the year next year or this year. That they tell us where next, where the one after that is, or maybe it's the beginning of the year. Maybe it's the beginning of 21 that they'll tell us where 22 is. But um, 21s is in April in Mexico. And how you earn those trips, and those trips are free, you guys. You pay for your airfare but that's it. When you get there, it's paid for. Like free. 
and it's a thousands of dollars. The, like the, you should go look up the Hard Rock Riviera Maya when we get off the call. Um, it's a beaut it's a five star resort. The food is amazing. Beachbody does all kinds of fun things, and they rent out the entire place. So it's just Beachbody coaches. That's it. Um, and then like two years ago, it was a cruise. So I've been on two Beachbody. I've been on all of the Success Club trips since I joined because I've hit Success Club every year. And um, so two years ago, it was a cruise, um, which right now is kind of scary, but back then it wasn't. Um, and then two year, three years before that was another cruise on Royal Caribbean, on a Royal, the biggest Royal Caribbean ship, the biggest ship in the ocean. And they um, rent out the whole thing. It's all Beachbody coaches. It's, they're so much fun. Um, and you get to bring your family. So um, however you want to do it, like you can bring, you get you and a guest are free. So you and your spouse or friend or whatever are free. And then if you want to bring your kids, you pay a discounted rate for the kids. But it's ridiculous how much and how generous Beachbody is with this, with this thing. But you have to hit Success Club in order to have enough points to qualify to be able to be invited off the list to be able to join. Because they only take about 3,500 people. And well, that's not true. That's the for the cruise. For the hotel ones, I think they take 6,000 people. There's 400,000 coaches. So you have to do, you know, you have to do your part and stay in Success Club and then you'll get invited off that list. So the Success Club um, legends, which is people who have been in for two years or more, get first dibs. And then the second group, the second wave of people to get it is Success Club All-Stars, which is people who have had 12 months in a row of Success Club. So the other big benefit of Success Club, and then I'll let you guys ask all your questions, is that it is definitely for sure the benchmark of your business. If you're not getting new people, you're not building your business. So if you're showing that you're in Success Club, it's just showing that you're building your business. So if you do, if you do, if you don't even focus on Success Club, right? Who cares about that? Who cares about the number, blah, blah, blah. But you're bringing in new people, you're gonna hit Success Club. And if you hit Success Club, you're building your business, period. So it is the one thing that they have been able to show that people who are consistent in Success Club are always growing their businesses. So that's another benefit, probably the biggest one, to Success Club is that it's an indication that your business is growing. Okay, so that's the big thing I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna unmute y'all so you can ask all of your questions. They don't have to be related to Success Club at all. <laughs> but yes. I just wanted to Thing that we didn't talk about. And I will tell you that next week, the topic that I'd like to discuss is um, how to talk to customers. There's like a three step process that I use. We'll talk about that next week in, in detail. <laughs> okay, your turn. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, uh, uh, this week I talked to uh, eight people. Uh, like to come in like on this um, beach body and then they are so ready or oh, they are so ready and then they are so excited but until now nobody joining you know nobody coming back uh, like you know to join I don't know I don't know if I put the mistake or what <laughs> 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 well, no, I would say that you did not make a mistake. So yeah. the biggest, okay, so I talked to you guys when I talked, when we talked last week, we talked about consistency and how being consistent is how you, how this business works. Like you're consistent, things work. Being consistent about talking to people and inviting people is one of the big things. And we talked about that last week, but an even bigger part of that, we didn't get there yet because y'all hadn't talked to people yet, is follow up and being consistent with follow-up. And there's a million different things to talk about there, but the most important thing, and they will say this at every Beachbody meeting, at every call that you're on, the fortune is in the follow-up. So when you talk to somebody one time, okay. they're not likely to say yes, although you guys did. <laughs> From Ty said that, whatever. That was not normal. <laughs> it, usually, it can take... I think the average, what they say, is up to eight times before somebody says yes. 
but that's not always the case. Like I, like, for example, I've been talking to, so I've, this is a person that I've known since high school. I danced with her in high school and I've known her forever. She's been in all of my groups, free groups, everything. She's never joined. So I've probably contacted her probably five or six times on um, Facebook Messenger, just saying, hey, check out this killer deal this month. Just checking in, see if you want to do it. And she's like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Well, this morning she said, okay, let's talk about this. Um, so that was like the sixth time, the sixth contact I had with her. So what you have to kind of do is, and that I would say, I, I just took a shower in my head all over the place. Um, Gosh, um, what I would say about follow up and me is that I'm really good at that. Like I can give you guys all the tips in the world about following up, but the best one I can give you is that when you um, meet somebody or talk to somebody, say if you know them really well, you can kind of guess when it's appropriate to follow up with them. Is it appropriate to follow up with them in two days? Is it appropriate to follow up in a week? Is it appropriate to follow up in 10 days, two weeks? You know, you know, like if you know a person, then you know when it's appropriate, when it won't be annoying for you to follow up. If you don't know somebody, like you guys are pretty much working in your warm market. So I would say that the majority of the people that you're gonna talk to, you know. So we can stop there. We can talk about cold market when you get past your warm market, that's fine. Um, but you, so what I do is I kind of develop, I use my phone, I use Google, um, calendar and I will put in there who I need to follow up with. So like I have, uh, let's see. So I need to follow up with somebody tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, let's see. So tomorrow I have one, two, three different people that I need to follow up with that I've been talking to that haven't signed up yet. And so those are people that I probably talked to sometime last week, but determined that I could talk to them, you know, three or four days later. So if you've spoken to them once, you've done a great job because you've introduced the idea to them, they're excited about it, but now you have to follow up. And so usually it's a really easy thing. Did, did you talk to them in person or text or Facebook or how? Uh, like on a phone call. Phone call. So you yes. have a phone number? Yes. <laughs> so I would follow up with a text. Mm -hmm. Hey, we haven't talked in a couple of days. I mean, don't say it like a girl, because I'm a girl, right? We haven't talked in a couple of days, but I'm just curious to know if you have any questions for me about what we talked about last week with Beachbody. Yes. Very simple. And stop there. And you might get crickets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right? It happens to me all the time. I can't tell you how many messages. I probably sent out 50, no, more than that. More like six, probably 65 messages over the course of three days last week, where I, that's like what I do in those three days is send messages amongst other things, but it's like part of what I do those three days. And about a third of them just completely ignore me. And I'm like, it's fine. Um, and the other third will respond to me in some way. Uh oh, I think I froze. I hate when I freeze. Oh, wait. Oh, I froze, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to text you. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Um, so, a third of them will get back to me. Of those third, probably about 10% of them, maybe more, sometimes more. It's more like three or four, five are like, yes, let's do this. And then the rest of them are like, nah, it's not a good time. So it's pretty, that's actually pretty good odds because if I send out 65 messages and I get five people to sign up, that's Success Club 10 right there. I'm at Success Club 12 right now. And I've got two people that are gonna buy this week. So that'll be 16 at some point in the next week or so. Yes, sir. Um, for the message that you send, um, uh, because sometimes it's hard to talk to people, like it's hard to get the right message to send. Um, can you send us a tablet? <laughs> <laughs> you mean how to follow up with people? Yeah, we can modify that on our, on our own thing, but 
As long as we know the main idea of the senator is different. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, mine are going to sound different than yours for two reasons. One, because I'm a girl, but two, because a lot of what I'm following up with people is previous conversations. But seriously, like I, so here, let me read this message to you. We want girls too, because uh, as you can see, I, I, call, I talk to them back. Uh, they are the one I was talking to. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but like talking okay to so this is some this is somebody who wanted there was a list of free workouts that i was offering from beachbody that had beachbody has a couple of sample workouts there's 10 of them and i was offering this during the beginning of the whole quarantine thing just like hey if anybody doesn't have anything to do because their gym is closed let me know i'll send you a list of workouts so i had about 90 people who responded to that and i was able to send them out the email and this was a this was I so I followed up with her twice. This is the third time, but this is this person that I followed up with six times. Okay, so this is the third time about this particular thing, and this was on May sixth. This was my message. Hey there, hope you're hanging in there. Did you get to try any of the workouts? I'm super excited because this month they put it all on sale and help us get ready for summer. There's a way I can get you a year of Beachbody on demand. That's over two thousand individual workouts for ten dollars. You'd also get access to my accountability group and so much more. It's time to start thinking about short season. Would you like more information? 10 days later. Hey Kim, thanks for keeping in touch. I'll be honest, I didn't try any of your workouts, but have done Beachbody in the past. A commercial about On Demand just reminded me of this message. Rather chat with you than Carl. Tell me more about the cost of On Demand. And I said, yes, I'm way more fun to talk to. Okay, the best way to get it, it's on sale with this combo right now is when you get a year, one bag of Shakeology, you get a year of Beachbody on demand for $10 more. No joke. Have you tried Shakeology? I have. I had an account under my previous coach, the one that passed away, but it's one bag on monthly commitment or auto ship. And I said, oh, Duffy, old coach. So you can continue monthly, but you don't have to. I can help cancel anytime. Would it be okay if I switched you to me as to be my customer? I just need your email and billing zip code that was on the account and then crickets. So this was at three o'clock this afternoon. So at five o'clock this afternoon, I sent her a message and I said, got some questions for me. That was it. Okay, so just so you know, my first contact with her was on March 5th of 2017. She still hasn't joined me. <laughs> but she's still talking about it. She's, we're closer. Um, so yeah so that's that's how sometimes that's how it goes so you just have to keep following up with people and what you should do is you should keep a list somewhere i could show you my list but it's too far away for me to reach so my list is like four pages long in a notebook of all the people that i've talked to and it's handwritten i do best handwrite I, some people do good with these systems and we can talk about that another day I do best with writing things out. So I have this long list of people that I've spoken to and every single month when I send out my messages, they get a message every single month. It doesn't matter if I've been talking to them for two days or two years, they still get a message. An invitation. And then I will follow up with them. Got questions for me? Very simple. So if you, so these people that you spoke with, did you, um, send them any information in an email or anything that they can read and look at? Not yet. Okay. I, for me, I sent some videos. Okay, that's good. So if you haven't, so that's great. If you've sent the emails, then you need to send a follow-up message. Did you have a chance to read? This is exactly what I say. Did you have any chance you got, any, any chance you had time to read the email? Do you have any questions for me? Or what questions do you have for me? Makes sense. So, did you get? Did you have a chance to read the email? What questions do you have for me? Not do you have any questions for me? What questions do you have for me? It's important. The wording's important. Yeah. Yeah, because then they can't say no because of course they have questions. My husband's sitting here. He's re, he does retail for we own bike shops. He does retail for a living. So he's like, no. If you say what questions do you have, they're going to come up with some because nobody doesn't have any questions. That's just weird. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, he's also a beach body coach, by the way. Um, so, and then, okay, so then if you haven't sent them something in an email, then the follow-up would be, 
hey, so much fun talking with you about Beachbody the other day. Can I send you an email with some more information? Would it be okay? Important with wording. Would it be okay if I sent you an email with some more information? What's your email address? So for Francis, that's what I would do next. Oh, oh okay. Uh, you want to tell you my email address? No, you're going to ask them for their email address. Oh, okay. Yes. So yes. you're going to say, it was great talking with you about Beachbody the other day. I would love to send you some more information. Would it be okay if I sent you an email with more information? Okay. What, what's your email address? That's what you would say. I have your email address. <laughs> in my coach office yeah. no um so that's what you want to do you want to you want to offer to send them an email and then the next follow-up would be did you get a chance to look at the email i sent what questions do you have for me okay so if you if we had summit this year you would get to hear this because y'all would be in the category of people who would get to hear, I think, you may not be by that point, you may be further along, but one thing they talk about a lot in the beginning stages of Beachbody is what's called the customer funnel, and it starts out really wide, okay? So this is like this four pages of people. Can you turn the light on? Um, oh, that's really yellow. Um, this four, this big, you know, funnel that starts here, and this big funnel is all the people that you've talked to. So in my case, it's hundreds of people that I still have on my list, but I've been a coach for six, six and a half years. So I just keep keeping them on. I'm not, there's no reason for, to, to stop following up with people. So unless they say, oh my gosh, shut up. I can't deal with you anymore. Then you stop following up with them, right? I have never had anybody say, stop following up with me. Some people even say, thank you so much for thinking of me. Now's not a good time or check back with me in two weeks, or let's talk next month. And so that's when you start putting things in your phone and you say, like this girl that I'm gonna follow up with tonight, I'm, I talked to her last week, Monday probably, and then I followed up through midweek, asked if she had any questions, crickets. So I'm gonna follow up with her tonight. And again, say, hey, just thinking of you, what questions do you have for me? So you just keep going with that, but you have to keep track of them. It is very, very important. So the top of your funnel, the widest part of your funnel is, um, is the, all the people you're talking to. The next narrower part is the people you've sent emails to. The next narrower part is people who have read them and you're still talking to them. And then you've got customers and coaches, people who join. So that's how it goes. So you have to keep track of these people up here way at the top of the funnel. It's really important that you have a tracking system. Like I said, mine's on paper. It's not fancy. It literally is a list of people's names. That's it. It's not fancy. And my tracking system is in my phone. It's my calendar and I just will put somebody in there like, okay, so like I have check in with Dana Hedrick. It's right there. That's something I'm supposed to do tonight at nine o'clock. Um, and the reason I do it at nine o'clock is because that's when she's on Facebook. Like I figured that out. That's when she's on Facebook. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check in with her. I know that she'll see it as opposed to doing it at 10 o'clock in the morning when I know she's at work because she told me that she works. So you just little things you just pay attention to so that you can get people where they, meet people where they are. Okay, we got about nine more minutes. What other questions y'all have? Um, it's a lot of information. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll talk about next week what I want to talk about. I wanted to tell you guys about this stuff first, and then next week I want to talk to you about how to start conversations with people. Yep. And we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk very specifically about that. But I think the focus this week needs to be the follow-up on the people that you've already spoken to. Yeah. And then continue to add people to your list. So make it a goal to talk to whatever your number is, X number of people a week. If eight was your number last week, then make eight again this week. And so what happens is the way you build a list is, let's say you talk to eight people a week for four weeks. That's 32 people a month, right? And let's say five of those people join with you. 
That's 28 people that didn't, or 27 people that didn't, right? So now your list has 27 people. Let's say you talk to another 30 people that next month. Five people join, so we're at 57. 50, so five people join, that's Success Club 10, right? Then you still have 52 people to talk to next month, and then you had another 30, and so on and so forth. Do you see how it compounds and gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Because if you talk to 32 people a month and you get 32 people to sign up, then you need to be teaching all of this stuff <laughs> yourself. <laughs> and you are a rock star beyond all imagination. Um, so, but that's what, that's where your list comes from. That's where your list of people to continue to talk to comes from. So please start writing people's names down and how you're contacting them and just keep it going. Yeah. What else? Um, there are people who are really, maybe they are not looking to be customers, but uh, like you know they are potential, can be potential customers. Like for example, someone is, like, for me it's, it should be much easier because they talk to me, they know that I, I do fitness for life already. So they talk to me like, um, can you help us to lose some weight? They, they do that and I can, that would be much easier to, call, to talk to them in that area. But is it, like, is it easy to talk to other people who, don't, who didn't talk about it at all? Like, just to send them the information? How do we do that? Like, you, you mean like that? people who you haven't had any conversations with at all yet? Yeah, like in, not, not about working out for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but you know that they can they need it and if they do <laughs> they can be very good at everything like for example they they see the results and they can uh, market the industry they can market everything themselves and yes. get customers from that you know if there are yeah. people if there are people that you know yeah. then it's super easy you just say hey I got to tell you about what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. Okay, if it's people, if it's people that you don't know very well, then it's a little harder. Yeah. But but here's the thing, if you're consistent about sharing it, on like social media, for example, if you're consistent about sharing it, and somebody's consistently watching your stories or consistently liking your posts or consistently commenting on your posts, then those are people who are reaching out to you. It doesn't. They don't necessarily go. Oh, help me, help me. But they're reaching out to you in the sense that they're saying, wow, I'm watching you every single day. Like, then it's okay for you to just go out to them and say, hey, it looks like you're enjoying my, what I'm doing. Like, do you want to learn more? Like that kind of stuff. That's easy to do when you know, okay, I have to get a picture before this goes away. Um, you ready? Everybody smile. Hold on. Smile. Yeah, this would be my... <laughs> that's gonna be your thing okay so um no i think you know if people are seeing what you're doing people are going to reach out to you anyway but it doesn't happen like that right away it starts out that you have to go reach out to other people yeah. Um, at some point here in the next couple of months, we will start, we will do a free group and because I think that's a really good way to get people involved because you can invite anybody to that. Like you can go out and say, Hey, I've got a free group of crock pot recipes or whatever we decide to do. And people, and you can invite anybody to that. You can invite every single person, you know, to that. And it's free. You're not asking them to buy anything. So then they join that. And then at the end of it, you can say, hey, if you enjoyed this, we've got so much more in our accountability groups. And in our accountability groups, I need to add the two of you to our accountability groups because Di's in it, but you guys aren't. So I need to send that link. I'll send it in our chat. But okay. you can say in the accountability groups, um, we have so much more. Do you want to know infor more information about that? And then you can start talking about challenge packs and how we do it. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Like what I read to you, what I read to you in that, um, 
in that message thread from the girl that I was talking about that I've been talking to for years, that's kind of the same thing. She's been in a free group. And I'm like, um, you could join forever and, and you know, that kind of thing. So that's how you do that. But that's, you know, you have to, you have to do it to get good at it. You don't just like become good. I mean, most people don't start out and then they're just awesome at following up with people. Um, it, it requires practice. And the first couple of times you do it, you're going to feel like a nag. You're going to be like, oh gosh, I'm just being annoying. But I can almost promise you that people are not going to see it that way. I'm not going to guarantee it, but I can almost promise you that people are not going to see it that way. What people, the way people work these days is you might send them a text message or a Facebook message and they'll see it and then they'll go about their business and do something else and they'll forget that it was there. And so by you following up with them three or four days later, you're not being annoying. You're just saying, hey, you remember we were having this conversation, people. And then they'll be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for messaging me. I'd totally forgotten. Or I, I looked at your message when I was driving, God forbid, and I didn't respond to you and I forgot that it was there, like that kind of stuff. So following up is not annoying. It's actually helpful to people. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense? Yeah. So if you have questions about your follow-up messages, put them in our chat and I'll go through them. I'll look at them and, and we'll, we'll talk about it. Sounds good. Good plan? Yep. Okay. All right. In the meantime, if you have questions before next week's meeting on Sunday, please put them in the chat and let me know. Whatever you need. I'm here for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.